Top TV, Truth of the People. Resilience is a capacity to adapt challenges and difficulties and spring up into life. Actually, there is no life without challenges. Challenges are inevitable in life. And that's why we have to learn to live with challenges and difficulties. Many of us are giving up today because they lack the spirit of resilience. How I wish we develop the spirit of resilience. Resilience to me is the ability to bounce back from challenges and also to recover or to keep going in the face of adversity. So I'd like to think of it as a trait, um, as a process, as an end, as, a, as an outcome. But these three have to go together for it to be resilience. So often we are asked, are we born with it? I believe that we are. Um, but it has to be accompanied with process where you have to be aware of your inner and outer self and inner includes like your ability to know yourself self-awareness um your ability to process your emotions your self-confidence and all and then your outer one includes like positive relationships you have around you strong support system and then as an outcome from all these learnings you learn from the process um, you're able to put them into use. Therefore, when you're faced with the next adversity, you know how to apply the learnings. So I'd like to think of it as a trait, a process, um, and also an outcome. Welcome to Paul's Power Pie. It is another episode, and it is Paul Newman, your host. So, someone told me the other day that you can take that power from Paul's power pie. So continue watching Paul's power pie. And thank you so much for the support you have been giving us all through. So before you continue, um, I know to know Shida Mingi to get after laptops, uku, to get after videos of computers, to get after uh, toners, uh, printers, to make one Shida Mingi in Nairobi. And then we have been having so many con men in this Nairobi. A lot of things. So we have one uh, company which can help you out in this. And we have Opt Prime Toners Kenya Limited. It can actually help you uh, in getting the best laptops. And they, they are very good in giving toners, cartridges, computers, laptops, and printers and spares. This is Zote. Uneza Zipata ko Opt Prime Toners Kenya Limited. So basically, if you want opt, good laptops, you want um, uh, good uh, computers, spares, uh, computers, uh, printers, you can get them from that place. And it is studied at Nairobi, uh, along Tomboya Street, um, Mido Building, shop number 17. Uh, shop number 17. You'll get the best laptops, you'll get the best spares, you'll get the best things, the computers uh, in that place. So, guys, we are having a very great show today. We are going to talk about something very interesting. And I have my fellow young people today to, to do a very, very great show. Perhaps you have been facing so many issues in your life. Perhaps you have been having issues like Mara Pale Kambas Nja Nja Nishida Kidogo, Mara Kambas Pesa Inakua Shida Kidogo. We want to see today how can I survive through all these issues? Bado nikiwa tu pale campus ama nikiwa mali huko tu mali unafanya kazi out you navigate troubles and today I have great guests today niko na my young people and I want to introduce my fellow friends in fact they are my friends so which start decide should I start ladies first or boys first or what ladies uh, I start guys when I'm a shine sana ndio tunaanza na yeye you cannot shine and if you say you start this other side so we start this side Okay, thank you for the power pie. Uh, my name is Cynthia Mumboa, a final year psychology student at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Uh, I'm a mentor uh, and I'm a mental health advocate. Uh, thank you. I'm Karim Sana Cynthia. I sent you. I'm going to say that you are white in Nairobi and Bumbi. I'm going to say that you are going to die with your mask. I'm a tao. You need to tell us the manual. You need to give us the manual. <laughs> So let's go to the other side. Oh, my name is Moses Kamore. Mm -hmm. I'm an engineering student at Olesos Technical in Nandi County, Kapsabet. Yeah, uh, it's a pleasure 
to have uh, to, for you to have invited me here and i'm happy that we are going to have a good talk karibu on resilience musa. karibu sana musa shukran mwenye alikuwa ni venye mtu umesahau ya kujid the israelites eh? <laughs> yeah. but uh, so you use the musa ama the, the other one i use the stuff welcome yeah, welcome thanks. so much so guys today we are talking about resilience eh? we are talking about how people can struggle through troubles even uh, uh, even when they are suffering even they have into struggles so just before we go we go to the to the topic there's a question i was asked by the last week about um, shortcuts to success someone aliniuliza kama mtu anafanya gambling na anafanya very responsibly very very responsibly na anapata pesa yake an invest vizuri um kunubaya na hiyo kitu akifanya gambling So which side should I start? Where I started ama this side? Kumbuka boy child. Acha ndio kumbuka boy child. For me I think that gambling is not a good uh, idea mm -hmm. for making money. Uh, this is because uh, mm -hmm. in a letter financial drain. Oh. Because no matter how much uh, you may be gaining at the end mm -hmm. kutakuwa na hiyo yenye ume drain. Maybe you started maybe with 30,000 mm -hmm. you stake then at the end of it all maybe you get about 100000 mm -hmm. uh, when you calculate yes you'll find that you have gained a profit but due to that uh, uh, we say that uh, a habit is a disease mm -hmm. so at one point you co just continue and at one point because it is it is not a guarantee that utakula hiyo pesa mm -hmm. unaweza end up to lose uh, to those companies oh. to those betting sites so for okay. me i don't think it's a good idea despite mm -hmm. making money Yeah. Oh, what about you Cynthia? Mimi na Kenya kambao yangu tu vizuri. Sisi mm -hmm. nakata tu kamkia pesa yangu si pesa mingi. Uh, okay, I think mm -hmm. I I can't really take side whether it's good or bad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But at the same time I think it's not a good thing. Mm -hmm. Unapata yeah. most of us young people wame ko addicted to betting, mm -hmm. vitu kama hizo una lose pesa kwanza yenyaona hata kama ni 20 bobo oh, ni kunoma ni minge eh yeah. but the other side pia unapata unaweza like kila kitu kama 50 bob na upate something good you know okay. yeah i think iko na both advantages and disadvantages so, zake so so it's not bad gambling uh per se, uh, i don't think it's a bad thing mm -hmm. per se mm -hmm. yeah but on the other side iko na disadvantages zake kuna addiction mm -hmm mtu hadi anaweza iba pesa ya mm. mzazi ndo aende abet vitu mm. kama tu hizo mtu unasikia amekula school fees mm. and things of the sort on the mm. other side ukiangalia pesa maybe enyo libet nayo na unapata a lot of money eh hey, pesa ni poa manze kwa kila 20 bob unapata 40k 40k eh hey. simba eh hey. okay thank you so much so i think my guy was answered on that is answered on that and also always think about yourself how are you going to do this gambling how is it working for you so Let's shift to the to the, the topic of today. So maybe maybe from Cynthia, mm -hmm. what's your take on resilience? Uh, as for me, resilience, mm -hmm. uh, it's flexibility, uh, with ability. Mm -hmm. How are you able to adjust to a difficult situation? Am I, how you are able to mm -hmm. deal with with toughness? Mm -hmm. Am I difficulty situations? As we all know, uh, every day you are open to getting challenges and difficulties as much as you are alive so resilience what i think resilience is uh, how you are able to face these challenges in a more positive way oh, yeah most in a positive way yeah oh, okay yeah. you make up to your positive pen and that's going to go and go notebook moses yeah yeah for me resilience mm. is the process of adjusting or like mm -hmm. she has said that mm -hmm. flexibility whereby you need to uh, pull up your socks or maybe mm -hmm. to try and find yourself out of the circumstances or the life ch challenges that may come along in life you know oh, yeah. every day as you wake up how could guaranteed that mm -hmm. what you wanted maybe you had a dream maybe five years ago that by this time you want t you want it to be fulfilled but up to this point maybe it has not yet been fulfilled so there are those challenges or the bottlenecks that you face in life that you will need to adjust yourself to them so that at the end of it all you may not be the one who is being cornered oh yeah okay so kuna mtu aliniambia kuna types of resilience maybe maybe you people maybe know so what are these types of resilience mm, all right yeah. uh, so there are several types of resilience uh, we have physical resilience This is the ability 
to be able to conquer things such as that, such as uh, physical health. Come on, come on, how are you able to manage being sick or managing your physical health generally mm. um, and emotional resilience? How able are you to have positive emotions? How can you draw positive emotions from a difficult situation that you are facing and everything, you know? Yeah, things of the sort. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, na zakuwa vinye na survive kwa magonjo. Eh, you need physical resilience, physical emotional. It's more of your emotions and feelings. Kama jana kula mtu ni kasi tisha. Where? Ni kasi tika ni lala ni kasi tika. What? For me, I know there is a social resilience whereby maybe you find yourself difficult or mm. maybe at a hard place interacting with other people. Mm. For example, umehama kutoka rongai, yeah. ukaenda another place. Yeah. It will be hard for you to adjust to that place mm. na watu wenye wako huko. Maybe you are nature, maybe you are an introvert. Whereby mm. itakuwa ni ngumu kusocialize na watu. But as a human being, because uh, no man is an island, mm. unafo una try kusocialize na watu, kujuana na wao, because in the long run, but in one way or another. Oh, at when the you moment, have survived two kambani, yeah. na hakuna maji. Uh, or as a, com <laughs> as a, as a comrade, yeah. unaweza hitaji msaada wangu, yeah. na maybe uko introverted. Yeah. Iyo high mean unafaa uteseke, whereas maybe I can help you. So unafaa, una try to face yourself, to sit down and kujianalyze. Ni wapi unakona shida ya kusocialize na watu, nduweze kutatua, Mm. Nah, so that life may be a bit smoother despite wow. the challenges that you may be facing. Wow. Yeah. And when you say that I can't get to the by the way, at a minute I'll start trying to, 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 to pull up my thoughts on resilience and on that. Yeah. So uh, I'm just thinking, mm. um, Jinja, at a nini, Moshe, you pata kwa situation, you pata, I would you to talk about it. Muna nakuambia, ah, it will be okay, it will be okay, it will be okay, and I am suffering. Mm. Do you see an okay when I am suffering? <laughs> so. What are the benefits of kukua resilient? Yani mtu anakua resilient? So, mtu anafaidika aji kukua resilient? Maybe tuanze, tuanze kwa Musa. Mwenye lipeleka Israeli wa Israeli. Uh -huh. mm. oh, one uh, about being uh, resilient, mm -hmm. kuwa inasaidia kubuild your self-esteem. Whereby, for example, I'm sure hata wewe, mm -hmm. before you host this show, uh, kuna iyo anzaya chenye ulikuwa nayo. But mm -hmm. you had to... Uh, to deal with it yeah, yeah. so that you may be able to bring out something great mm. yeah, out yeah, of yeah. you yeah, yeah. and by that you get to interact with different people mm. so that you can also get to educate the outside society yeah yeah, yeah. 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 You need like to sleep like three hours before you come for a show. Guy, it's a problem. Sometimes you feel like quitting. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, what about uh, Cynthia? Okay, mm -hmm. uh, the benefits of resilience. Uh, when you are resilient, mm -hmm. you are in a position to deal with your difficulties better. Kama vanyo tuli define tu kasema resilience ni your flexibility to handle difficult situations. For a resilient person, mm -hmm. atako in a position to handle things way better, ama positively. Like no matter how the situation is, ato na too bad, there is a way out of it, you know. Mm -hmm. If you are a resilient person, atakama the situation ikwaje, no matter how stressed you are, ama mm -hmm. how difficult the situation is, you will always be hopeful enough that things will get better and mm -hmm. better, yeah. Na kama si feel mtakua resilient? It come of feel yeah, yeah, it's just, it's, 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 as in I'm trying to be resilient to to come to, to 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 build some positivity through that but I'm not getting it. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. resilience ni kitu una 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 hand with time mm -hmm. like si kitu unazaliwa nayo you know yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's something that you build with time oh. uh, through things such as self awareness realizing your purpose as a person yeah unaweza kuwa una but with time yeah yeah. Okay. So, um, uh, nani jazi pina za build? Mm -hmm. Jazi pina za build your resilience, sasa. Okay. Because you said that we can we build it with time with time. So how do I, like, build it? Which are the ways which you can build resilience, maybe? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, one way of how to build resilience, you have to to have a self awareness, like be aware of yourself. What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? And majorly, no, if these are your weaknesses, how can you work through them? If these are your strengths, 
unawezaje jikuza kama mtu oh, yeah okay yeah. You, you learn the weaknesses and and, and the strengths you have eh? yeah okay. that is in self awareness oh. uh, you also need to understand your purpose as a person mm. yeah because this is something that ni inatoka na wewe mwenyewe utangoja mtu akulete resilience as a package you know oh. yeah ni wewe mwenyewe una una jibeld tujijua yeah na kuinja tujijui unajua Walai. hata mtu ajijui jina yake <laughs> Nairobi tu so uh, what about you um, Moses uh, what do you think which are the ways someone can build resilience uh, it's by seeking help yeah where by maybe you may discover who mm. ujui ku socialize na watu but eh uh, hata kama uko introverted yeah kuna ile at some point ukienda mahali there's a certain group of people when you feel mm-hmm. where they relate now but yeah. kuna ule specific kama ideal person mwenye uta feel like eh, kuna hiyo positive energy between you mm-hmm. so huyu mtu maybe unaweza confide into him or her mm-hmm. aweze kukusaidia so that you become more resilient oh yeah okay yeah talking to someone eh? yeah. Yeah, sure. maybe counseling eh? mm-hmm. and by the way africa counseling is a problem guy you tell your mom that you are in depression na kuambia guy oh what you got a depression <laughs> so eh uh, but we don't want to talk a lot about it we will discuss about this so deeply and um, one thing i'm realizing with resilience is something very 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 important for our lives like yeah. size when economic yeah. although wali tukishia unga but economy is bad on kubaya ama pesa una acha pesa ni unga mimi uli uli ambuka nuko tv okay so guys we cannot discuss all of it in one uh, session but we can discuss it in many 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 sessions and as i told you don't forget to get a good laptop from up prime uh, limited unaweza pata good good laptops good uh, services na wana kusaidia hata unaweza consult ukitaka laptop mzuri uh, like i've bought laptops even from those guys and kaona they are good they actually good go try there so uh, Cynthia and Musa yeah Eh uh, I don't know today ni mingwa na Musa sana. Yeah, <laughs> Sijui kama you like the Musa yeah, part. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. So nimepata na Kiswahili mingi. Yeah. So eh uh, before we finish up the this the, the show. Um I have a quick fire. Just a small question. And I don't know I started with which I started with this idea. Yeah. So I start here. Yeah. So my quick fire today. Yeah. If you could have lunch with anyone in the world, yeah. who would you be be your choice? Uh, for me my choice uh, will be uh, maybe to have lunch with someone like maybe mm-hmm. Neymar from, uh, from Neymar. PSG yeah hey. ah mutakula nini na yeye bila sikia hii iko tamu it's not much about eating uh-huh. but for me it's like uh, to onge so that i get oh. to learn uh, because maybe he may be from a harsh background oh. ndio ani and equip na hizo skills sama kuni mentor mm-hmm. so that i also become a great person in future because i'm still young and i got potential in me so i nifunze some ways that naweza grow as a an upright young man ndio niweze kufika to achieve even my dreams and to achieve success oh wow wow yeah. wow wow mm. okay Let, let's go to this side and here me at the name up here okay <laughs> so um, your question Cynthia mm-hmm. it will be this if there were five extra hours in a day Mm-hmm. How would you spend them? Ongeze 5 hours too. 5 hours. Mm, 24. So ongeze zingine iko 29. Mm, okay. Mm-hmm. Ninge ninge spend nikifanya nini? Mhm. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh I'm not really sure what I would really do. Mm-hmm. Uh but but I usually feel is it 24 hours be enough? Mhm. Kuna some of the things sijui si kama I'm comfortable mentioning them as in ningefanya well, nizo for extra hours. You can hours. mention, you can mention. Hata <laughs> kama nikukula, mimi naweza kula. <laughs> si ndio, lunch imekuwa 1 hour, excuse me 30 minutes, hai, unaongeza, unakula. Ningeongeza kulala manze. Sisi hakuna time ya kulala kwanza kama uko Nairobi. Ni kunoma, ni kunoma sana. Una pari za 24 hours enough. Unahitaji wow. juu enda hadi kwa ngwari utafute hiyo unga ya so <laughs> unapata time imeisha utarudi mm. town upange line siju fanye nini yeah so tulizema mambo ni mingi sana mazani machache yeah, yeah. <laughs> tuongeze mm, hizo yeah, yeah. manze <laughs> so eh uh, basically thank you so much you guys for coming uh, it has been a vibe eh? Moses yeah. uh, make sure that the Israelites always wanna figure can I lead them in the right way yeah thank yeah. you so much thank you so much for Welcome. coming and maybe the last word the mm-hmm. last word maybe to the to our viewers mm mm-hmm. yeah Uh, okay. Uh, what I would tell you uh, it's good 
to be resilient. Yeah. yeah. Uh, as we've talked about so many things about resilience, yeah, and maybe for more questions, uh, you can reach out to me or to our host, Paul, yeah, yeah, yeah. or to Musa. Yeah, pale kwa comments za YouTube. Yeah. yeah, you can reach out to me through sure. Paul. We talk more about resilience. Yeah, resilience is a good thing. Yeah, okay. and especially kwa hii maisha sa hivyo nyini kutaf. We mm. all need resilience. Actually, kusurvive kwanza Kenya, mm. inaitaji mtuwa kwa resilient mm. enough because survival in Kenya on its own. It's, it's a, a job. Do, yeah. It's a job. Eh? It's hey, a job manze, to survive. Inaitaji kwa hivyo kwa CV. Sure. Uh, what about Moses? Uh, Just maybe one word, maybe in, in, in 30 seconds. For me, I would say that mm. I'd end, end it all with a quote that says that ambition is a dream with a V8 engine. It's in this resilience that you gain that will help you to be ambitious on who you want to be in your future. Because the future may be one hour from today or tomorrow or another day. Yeah, mm. thank you. Thank you, Zungu. Well, I give up. Anyway, I'm going to give up. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for watching Paul's Power Pie. I, it's, I'm so happy that you people keep, uh, keep commenting, keep talking with me and all that. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for everything. And my last words. Ukutau give up. Alafu. Ukutau give up. Alafu. So, make sure that um, you do the best as you can. God will always bless you. Alafu, never forget this. In these elections, Atuta bleed your lead. Thank you so much. It's Paul's Paul, 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 Paul,